What up? It's angry, educated black man in this hoe. What's good? Did y'all see that bullshit ass State of the Union that hour and 20 minutes that bitch ass fuck nigga had me waste? With Black History Month coming along and that horrible State of the Union, I thought to contact my pastor to give us a good sermon to bring us into the state of blackness. The Union, that's what he's called it at least. But let me give you a little bit of history about Pastor Black. Pastor Black is deeply committed to the community and he loves his people. He got his undergrad in journalism from Florida A&M University, FAMU, Woot Woot, Tallahassee. He then got his master's in, uh, from Columbia in journalism. Now Pastor Black has made it clear that he's coming out in his HBCU gear because he loves his HBCU and he just went to Columbia to please master. Not only is Pastor Black deeply committed to his people, he believes in a more holistic approach to life. He believes that it is one universe and that we are all one and I just love that approach. He says that he cannot stand for a Christian doctrine that stood on the backs of his African-American ancestors to get his prominence. At one point, Pastor Black put a white bitch's head down the drain when he was three years old. He said because she tried him. His parents were in shock and they did not know what to think, but they knew in that moment that they had a special son on their hands, Pastor Black. And it continued when he was four. He conjured white tears at an early age. When little white Johnny called him nigga, he told his mama about, about themselves and their evil and racist ways and just conjured white tears. So at a young age, young Pastor Black was deeply rooted with the community and he knew who he was. And we knew that there was a special thing within, within Pastor Black. And you know, I'm just excited that he's come to speak to us and give us five minutes of his time. He's very prompt. But without further ado, I would like to give you my good friend, Pastor Black. Black people, this is the state of blackness. This is the union. This is no longer about who's Dominican and who's Puerto Rican and who's whatever. Y'all saw when the hurricane hit that motherfucker, that motherfucker, that fuck boy. And that's what we gonna call him a fuck boy. Right now, this is a real nigga. There's a real nigga in your presence and it is Pastor Black. And Pastor Black is here to tell you that even at a young age, I knew that the blackness run deepest within me. And deepest within me, I give it to you. I came in my Rattler shirt and I keep calm and strike on because this year, this 2017 that was passed was shitty. And this motherfucker actually got on motherfucking television to tell us that he actually thought he motherfucking did something. 50% of the room was standing up clapping at this motherfucker. And I need to let you know right now, slap nigga now. This is the state of blackness, the union. And I need to let y'all know it's not about uh, 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 what's going on. It's about how we can unite in this moment. And in this moment of fuckery, in this moment of, of fuck nigga, of ex exponential proportions we can come together my nigga what the fuck was these motherfuckers doing nigga i was a motherfucking shaman with the indians nigga yes in america no nigga i'm not african-american nigga i'm american nigga i was on this land when these motherfuckers came here my ancestors 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 was here nigga i'm american nigga i don't know what the fuck you're talking about in the americas include all of north and south america all of my brothers and sisters everyone you know what I'm saying? And right now, I don't understand why we've got these white moderate Beckys with their pink pussy hats and they Me Too bullshit movements. I don't know what the fuck we was doing with the planet. This motherfucker getting lies talking about war, talking about transgenders, talking about Mexicans and his fuck ass tacos and building dumb ass walls. What is all this shit? We can't focus on what this man's doing. We need to focus on us getting back to being with the Mayans and being back with the temples and being one with the gods and transcending to the next level because we are oneness with the universe. We are humans. We are loving beings. And we know that we can bring it together. And this fuck boy, he will not break us. He will not bend us. He will not send us any way that will not keep us on the straight path to the real nigga moments. He will not hurt our mother earth. We will not allow moderate Becky to distract us, nigga. We will bring forth the sweet Gaia of the universe and the sweet Gaia of the earth. We will not turn back transgenders, but goddammit, if Janet Mark lies to us and tells us that she is not, she will be striking us down. I don't mean strike us down in a sense of being hit, but strike us down in a figurative sense because of the lies that she told. We will not tell lies. We will be straightforward and forthcoming because we are about the people. We are about uniting black people because this is the state of the black union. And what else would we be doing unless we didn't love our brothers and sisters? Our brothers and sisters everywhere affected by the hurricanes, affected by the, the racism, affected by the oppression, affected by the discrimination everywhere, my nigga. We just have to come together. One is blackness. And that means anybody who's experiencing oppression, that means if you gay and somebody beating on you, we here for you, my nigga. We right here. You come to the angry, educated black man, and he gonna tell you to keep calm and strike on because he a real nigga.
And a real nigga's gonna hold you down because Pastor Black knows that what's going on in the United States right now, it ain't right. It ain't right, and we don't give a fuck. We don't give a damn, and we gonna do something about it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm here with the congregation, you know what I'm saying? I had to get my black southern pastor voice because, you know, that's that's all I know, you know? I came from that southern Baptist, you know? I was myself discriminatory, and I was oppressive, but, you know, I've grown. I've become older, and I have learned. And I know, and I have faith that people can do that as well. But 30% of y'all motherfuckers got to get on the boat and y'all got to get the fuck out of here because your stands on the backs of my ancestors and your stands on the backs of doing nothing for a long ass time and you need to get off your heroin and your opioids and you need to take your ass on a boat and find yourself an island and go kill and do whatever the fuck y'all want to do on your wild ass island because I don't give a fuck and I don't want to see y'all motherfuckers. And what did I say? We don't give a damn and you don't give a, I mean, I don't give a damn and we don't give a fuck, nigga. What's good? You know, is my time up? No, I still got, look, but look, I still got 24 seconds. But most importantly, like I said, we just must come together, and that's what's most important. And I am Pastor Black, and I want to thank Angry Educated Black Man for allowing me to get on here and spit my knowledge and my wisdom and my oneness. And I believe that we can come together, and we can be shamans, and we can love each other, and be of the earth, and be of the, the universe, and become one. Become one, nigga. That's all I'm asking for us to become one. You know what I'm saying? Just be loving, and, 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 and preaching, and, 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 and having with one another, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I can't keep talking because my time is up. My time is up, but I'm not going to be a nigga. I'm not going to be a nigga today, even though my rhetoric may have been quite niggerish. I don't give a damn, and we don't give a fuck. All right. Gang. 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 Gang.